So these are the pros and cons of a project manager career. Since I've started working as an engineer and pivoted into project management, I can share with you what it's been like for me as an engineering project manager. Now, with that said, every job has its ups and downs and project management is no exception. As we get into this video, drop me a comment down below. What are some pros that you think make being a project manager worth it? So in no particular order, here is my list of the biggest pros. The first pro is that a project manager gets paid very decent competitive salaries across different industries. You could be working in IT, construction, healthcare, finance, engineering, and the list goes on. According to PMI's most recent salary survey in the United States, the median salary of a project manager has a high of $120,000, and it continues to increase as you gain more experience and increase responsibilities. Also, those with a PMP certification have a higher median salary than those who do not have a PMP certification. That's 33% higher on average. Now, the second pro is that there is job security and market demand for project managers. We're kind of like a Swiss army knife. We're in demand and we're needed almost everywhere. As industries continue to grow, there's always a need for project managers to lead teams, launch new products, improve efficiencies in operations, or just develop new services. Whenever you're looking for jobs on company websites or job boards, you're going to see postings for technical program manager, entry or senior level project manager roles, project coordinator, and the list goes on. Per PMI's Talent Gap Report, which I'll link down below, the global economy needs 25 million project professionals by 2030. Now to close that gap, 2.3 million people need to enter into that role every year just to keep up with that increased demand. So for me, Hearing that news is so comforting, especially in today's society where these keep changing and always evolving. Knowing that I personally am in a stable career path that is still in demand and is growing, it's comforting to me. It's like eating one of my most favorite comfort foods, home-baked chocolate chip cookies. They're just so good and it satisfies my sweet tooth. So if you're trying to pivot roles or maybe you're trying to choose a new career path as a project manager, that's really great information to see because it tells you that this career, it's not going away anytime soon. As I share with you the next pro, be sure to smash that like button to show me your support because it inspires me to keep creating high quality content just like this. Now, the third pro is that there are so many opportunities to grow as a project manager. As you gain more experience and you get more expertise in your industry, that means that you can take on more senior roles and easily increase your salary by 10 to 15% and possibly even more if you obtain your PMP certification and others that are specific to your industry. Just like how gasoline is the fuel to your car, Having a strong track record of leading teams and previous experience managing projects will always put you in the best position to increase your earning potential and help you earn that next job opportunity. Now, the next pro is that as a project manager, you get to work on very exciting projects that are challenging and innovative. Let me give you a few examples. You could be the leader of a team who drives the launch of a new software app build a new electronic device used in the tech industry, create robotic technology that's used in surgery, or build housing complexes in a community. If you're into racing cars or the Fast and Furious movie series with Vin Diesel, being a project manager is kind of like being in the driver's seat. You're the CEO of your project and you have to put into motion the project and make it come to life. And that in of itself is very satisfying and fulfilling. I mean, it's so rewarding to know that you're a part of something that's bigger than you, which will also be the stomping ground for you to develop and just polish yourself to be a more refined leader. Now, the fifth pro is that project management skills are transferable regardless of the industry that you choose. Knowing how to be a leader, 
solving problems, and being able to communicate with different kinds of people, those are all skills that take time to develop. Sure, it may not sound as sexy as software development or programming, but this is needed, especially if you decide to go into more leadership positions in the future. As a project manager, you get to see things that are big picture, and you get to be more strategic whenever you're leading your teams. So you're always overseeing big visions and turning them into reality. And that's a huge plus one from my book. Now, the next pro is that you will work with a huge variety of people across so many different teams. When I worked as an engineer before, I didn't always have the opportunity to interface with different groups. I was usually just working in my own silo, just doing my own thing. Sure, there were times when I could collaborate with other people, but it wasn't a lot. As a project manager, I am always working with new people. I am not just confined to only working by myself with one department. Have you ever heard the saying that project managers have to herd cats and bring cats together? Well, that's because you're always leading discussions with cross-functional teams and members from leadership working to share your vision and gain the buy-in from so many people. No person that you work with is the same. At one point in my life, I thought that I actually wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to make that impact on the lives of other people and make a good income from it. And then I realized that I would be in so much debt pursuing a career in medicine. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt but being a project manager allows me to work with a huge variety of people and still make a huge difference on the company I'm working for, as well as the people who use the products that we're creating. Now, my seventh pro is that no two days will be the same for you. Each project that you're managing will be completely different from each other, so you'll always be working with different people on different goals and objectives. If you're looking for a role to keep you motivated, then this is the one for you. And after you finally close out a project, I can't tell you how rewarding and just how satisfying it is to see your final product created and delivered to your customer. Knowing that you played a huge role with assembling and leading your team from start to finish, that's a feeling that I am just so incredibly grateful to be a part of. It's kind of like playing the same level of Super Mario over and over again until you finally cross that finish line. It's so satisfying once you beat it, am I right? All right, so my biggest pro is the flexibility and opportunity to work remotely. With the rise of work from home options and all these different virtual tools that you can use, many project managers have the flexibility to work remotely or even hybrid schedules. I personally work a hybrid schedule at my current company where I go into the office, but I also have the flexibility to work from home. You could be courting with a team that's in another country or a different city that you live in, and just having this flexibility is a very nice perk. Again, it depends on the company you're working for, but they do exist. Now, before we talk about the cons of being a project manager, don't forget to smash that like button. So in no particular order, here are my cons. The first con is that you're going to be seen as an expert in your project and you're going to be seen as the go-to person. But Alvin, how exactly is this a con? Well, from my own experience being in the quote unquote driver's seat as the project manager, it means that people assume that you know everything about what's going on in your project. And unfortunately, in some companies, it means that you're the one responsible if the project does not succeed and it ends up failing. If something goes wrong with the schedule or the budget, chances are that you'll need to know what happened. Of course, there's no way for you to know everything. You have to communicate to the right people at the right time so leadership and other teams are informed appropriately. And to set you up for success, that's why I'm such a huge advocate for defining expectations clearly with your manager and the leadership team about what does the definition of success look like for your job title and the projects that you're managing. Now, the second con is that you have the responsibility to lead without authority. Just because you have the word manager in your job title, 
it doesn't automatically mean that you have authority to force people to listen to you. You have what I call indirect authority. So in most organizations, when you're managing a project, the people on your team, they don't report up to you. They typically report up to a different manager, someone who's in engineering or marketing, for example. And because you're not their boss, it means that they may not always listen to you. So it's important to clearly set expectations for the people on your team and to do your very best to delegate work and to empower them so they're held accountable for their work. The third con is that you're going to be overseeing so many stakeholders and you'll need to be very good at talking to people who aren't on your team. This is more appropriately called building relationships with other people. You aren't always going to get along with everyone you work with. Am I right? So you need to be very good at sensing the pulse of how other people are feeling about the status of your project. Is your sponsor happy? Are they satisfied with how things are going? Is your team lead confident in the progress that's being made so far? These are just a little things that you need to be aware of as you're steering your team towards your project success. And one more thing, if you take anything away from this video, just remember that it's always about building relationships with those you work with. We are not robots. Everyone around us is human beings. So it's in our best interest to get to know other people. Step outside of your shell. If you're an introvert like I am, just tear down those walls. It's going to be so much easier to have more genuine interactions and to truly lead a team who trusts you and wants to make things happen. One of my all-time favorite movies is called Gladiator with Russell Crowe. And there's a scene in the beginning of the movie where everyone looks up to him as the leader because of the trust that he's built up with everyone. And it reminds me of how we should be acting as project managers. Now, the next con is that you're going to be under a lot of high pressure with tight deadlines. Depending on the company and the industry you work for, there will be pressure to meet aggressive timelines and budgets, especially if you're trying to launch a new product in the next year. So you need to be very good at delegating tasks with the people, instilling trust, and setting up different processes in place with your team so you can balance multiple projects at once without feeling overwhelmed. And my bonus con is that you're going to be in quite a bit of meetings actually. 90% of our jobs is communication. But with that is the con of being in meetings to lead your team and set expectations with leadership. Pro tip from me, I'm actually not a big fan of being in meetings all the time. So what I like to personally do is set boundaries with which meetings I attend and which ones I'm actually setting up. I only attend the meetings that I personally add value to. And I do my best to only set up the meetings if it leads to decisions or helps resolve issues to drive the project forward. Don't just set up a meeting just because. Actually take the time to consider, is the meeting truly worth it? Is it needed? Or can it be met, communicated real quickly through email or an instant message? Now we've covered quite a bit in terms of the project manager career. For me, the pros outweigh the cons, and I personally enjoy working as a project manager. If you're looking to get started in this field and you want to ace your interview, please watch this video next and I'll see you in the next video.